Working with collage and mixed media is a little bit more complex than just sketching in your journal. So it's best to get all of your things together at once. I won't be using all this on one page, but it's good to have it handy because you'll be hit by inspiration in the middle and you'll want to add this or that or try this or that. I've got my journals ready. Uh, some additives, paper to, to uh, glue in place, water supply and brushes, uh, more brushes to apply the glue with, a couple of different kinds of glue that I really have the best luck with. I don't like to use um, glue sticks because occasionally they do let go, and some polymer mediums. So we'll give that a try. I've decided to start with a sketch of one of my Green Man sculptures. Green Men have been used around the world in uh, gardens and cathedrals and churches, perhaps to um, symbolize our relationship with nature. So I became fascinated with them years ago and have painted them, sketched them, uh, sketched from some of the original ones in Europe and also um, made them in clay like this. I have no real idea exactly what's going to happen with this one, so come along with me and we'll play. I'm going to try um, some more of the uh, acrylic ink because it'll stay put <coughs> under the addition. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a cold. So I'll tilt him up so I can sketch him loosely. They look peaceful. <laughs> Whoops, and now I'm drawing with him. Hmm. I used real leaves on this so that he's got some interesting veins and his face. I always think of them as Celtic, but really you see them all over the world. In the Orient and uh, England and India. I'll keep it simple. I'm not trying to do a, a portrait of him, but an impression. I love the way the bamboo pen works with this. kind of unpredictable and fun. Maybe add a little bit more of oops, one of the other inks. This one is a transparent one. Maybe some dots and spots. Should make an interesting effect. Now, like we did before, I'm going to spray just a little bit to make it unpredictable. Oh, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Where it's dried, you'll have less effect, and where it is still quite wet, you'll have more. So I'm going to blot back just a bit in order to... Uh, not have that be too intrusive. So we'll let that dry and then we'll play some more. I've managed to uh, cut my finger the other day and so I'm not going to use my usual spatter technique because I don't want to get blood all over it too, although it wouldn't show with this color much, would it? So I've made a uh, screen spatter and we'll use it. You just put the paint right on the screen and then blow through that. Ooh, that kind of, that's kind of interesting. Let's try some of the brown too. Get a little mix. Kind of 
kind of neat. And because I don't like to have the exact same value throughout, I'm going to blot some back so that they're lighter. I decided to come back in with the um, darker transparent ink and pick up some of these details a little bit so that he'll stand out more. Just a little bit of accent here in more effect. That's kind of nice. Dry brush there and here. I've decided to mix it up even a little bit more and use um, a wax crayon resist on this guy here and there. You can see it's transparent so you, you don't see it now, but it'll have an effect when uh, I add additional watercolor. And let's play with some watercolor pencils too. This one is called Willow, and we'll just lay it in here and there. Oops. To define some of the shadow areas. And give him a little dimensionality. You can use any kind of uh, watercolor pencil you like. These happen to be ink tints. There's different kinds, and you'll find the one that you like best. Now, let's spread that a bit and see what happens. He's getting interesting, isn't he? You've probably collected some interesting bits that you may want to use in your uh, collage mixed media page. This is from a uh, book paper that I made recently and I carved the large stamp and this was a smaller stamp that I had on hand. This is the spiral from Newgrange, New Ireland that I've always been fascinated with. As you can see, this won't actually fit on the page, and so we will tear off an interesting bit. Let's see how we want to do that. I like the torn edges. They're more interesting than cut, I think. Um, hmm. You just kind of let it inspire you, however you think it will look good. Give it a try. Hmm. I kind of like that. I'll tear that off so it will fit on here. Now, um, you'll probably want to thin your glue a little bit so that it will brush on better. So I'm going to squeeze some craft glue into a small plastic cup and add just a little bit of water. Mm, maybe I'll use my sprayer so I can control it better. And don't use a good brush for this. You don't want to mess up your good brushes. This one is a very, very inexpensive one. Stir it well so you get the uh, Thickness feels good, kind of like very heavy cream works well. All right, I'm using the inside of an old sketchbook, and it's best to start in the middle and work out. Doesn't matter if it overlaps the edges, of course. Oops. All right, now. Lift that up, move that out of your way, and smooth this into place where you want it. Put 
press it down so you have a good bond with your paper. The colors go pretty well. They're almost the same, so that worked nicely. Now, do we want to use this too? I think we do. So, I'll tear it. So I have an uneven edge. More interesting again. Hmm. Let's tear off more. seems to work better. Okay, let's glue him the same way. Kind of from the middle out. That allows you to get the edges well. Oh dear, now I forgot to again press it down. And let it dry. You can see I've added another bit of the book paper over here for balance. And if you want, you can add a little bit of text, uh, maybe a date. This is January 2nd. As you can see, I've added a little bit more of the book cloth here. And now I'm adding a little bit of text. If you like borders, and I do, this is a good time to add one. Uh, let's pretend it goes behind him. I'm using the um, acrylic ink again. And you can turn your page any way you need to to get a comfortable go at it. It doesn't all have to stay the same way. Don't worry if it kind of wobbles. Just a bit more of the opaque as spatter here and there. And again, we'll use the little sprayer to make that go wild. And blot where we don't want too much. And that's strictly up to you. Whatever feels right. Alright, that's a fun page. That one was um, meant to be a collage from the beginning. Sometimes we want to add uh, elements when we want to cover a mistake, or even if you don't like the whole page, don't worry about it, don't tear it out. Just collage over it. It's fine. And it's fun. <laughs>